Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Formal Pickle, and today we're going to go over how to design your farm in Farming Simulator 19. Before we get into today's video, if you find this information useful and if you find it entertaining, then make sure you hit that like button. It helps out the video a ton, and I really do appreciate it. If you find yourself watching more than one video, then it's a good sign that you enjoy the content and you want to be notified when new videos are posted, so click that subscribe button to join the Pickle Jar community. When designing your farm, there are four key design elements that you need to keep in mind. Number one is function, number two is flow, number three is feeling, and number four is f We'll talk about that one a little later. So first we're going to talk about the functionality of your farm. Some good questions to ask yourself are, what is the main purpose of your farm? How large of an operation do you plan on doing? What are the needs for the various different purposes of your farm? And what areas of your farm can be used for multifunctional use? The farm we'll be using today is the farm I've been working on designed after my farm in real life. Just so you guys know, this farm is not yet complete. The detail work has not been done on this farm, but I still wanted to run through it with you in how to design your farm. In real life, this farm's purpose is primarily thoroughbred resources, as well as some arable cropland. We've adapted its purpose in the game just slightly to focus more towards cattle, while still also featuring some arable crop. So right now, we've determined that we need a space that works for livestock production, as well as smaller scale arable cropland. Key features that we will need in this farm design are pastures and paddocks for our livestock, hay, feed, and grain storage for our livestock and arable cropland, storage facilities for our equipment, as well as easy access to water. Now let's determine the flow of our farm. First, I would like to separate our farm traffic from our home traffic. Second, I'd like to determine the most high traffic volume areas and direct our storage facilities off of that route. And finally, we want to refrain from blocking any important aspects of the farm. Next, we need to determine the feeling of our farm. Because this is a century farm, some parts of the farm will be more old and run down, while other parts of the farm will be more updated and new. Because we will be focusing on livestock, we will need a large amount of grassland for hay as well as pastures. We would also like to provide plenty of tree shade for our livestock as well. And finally, we would like the homestead to feel slightly detached from the overall farm, but still a part of the farm design. As you can see, the various buildings on our farm serve multiple functions. First, we have our grain storage facility, as well as our repair center or mechanic shop for all of our equipment. Next, we have the old barn, which is primarily used for storage of anything that is not accessed commonly. Now we have the two newer sheds, which are used primarily for equipment or hay storage. And then we have the homestead, which is used as a getaway slash resort from the farm life. And finally, under function, all of the pastures and paddocks offer living quarters for the livestock as well as grounds for hay production. Now let's talk about the flow of this farm. All farm traffic enters through the bottom right driveway. All homestead traffic enters through the bottom left driveway. Both driveways are connected together so you can easily access the farm or house from either driveway. The farm itself is separated into three main categories. Number one is the older section of the farm, from the old barn over to the grain silo system. This is the high volume traffic section of the farm, as most traffic will pass through this area. For that reason, most of our storage is done in section number two, the two newer buildings just to the top left. And finally, the lowest traffic area, our homestead area to the left of your screen. And now we're talking about the feeling of this farm, it is much more subjective than any of the other topics. A few tips and tricks to improving the aesthetic of your farm are decreasing the amount of wide open space on your farm. Immediately to the right of the homestead, there's a large section of grass that is undetailed and quite open. This area should be filled up with perhaps some more trees, maybe a building or two. You'll notice that nothing on this farm is currently symmetrical. Even when a few things look like they are, they are just a few degrees off from being perfectly aligned. This is because farms are rarely designed in a symmetrical manner. Having a space that looks and feels like it's been adapted over the years to meet the needs of its current time makes the farm feel much more realistic than having something that perfectly meets its needs and looks like it has never been updated since it was created. You can use both new and old buildings together to create an interesting aesthetic on your farm. Notice that not all old buildings are located on the right side of our farm, and not all new buildings are located on the left. You'll notice the old barn is complemented by a new mechanic shop. 
and you'll notice that the newer buildings to the top in the house is accompanied by an older shed. This creates balance on the farm and makes it feel more likely that certain things were added in place over time. You'll also notice detail pieces such as the white picket fence are used to fill up open space. A farm will feel much more realistic when there is not wide open space for you to operate your equipment. Having areas that become more narrow and more difficult to enter and pass through make your farm feel more authentic and real as well as improve the enjoyment of playing on your farm. And the final design element that we have yet to touch on is when you're designing your farm and things don't go entirely to plan, don't be afraid to say this and start again from scratch. Sometimes your initial idea is not going to work like you had originally anticipated, or sometimes you get your scaling off and you must relocate or reposition buildings to make it feel more believable. Once you've determined the basic layout of your farm, go in and begin to add detail pieces in various nooks and crannies around your farm. Trust me, it's adding these various bits of detail that will make your farm feel much more realistic. All right, guys, that's it. That is what it takes to design your farm in Farming Simulator 19. Now, I tried to remain as as vague and non-specific as possible. That way, you can still have creative freedom when designing your farm. Just keep these things in mind when designing your farm. Keep in mind the function of your farm. What is its purpose? The flow of your farm. How can you efficiently uh, utilize all that land and all the buildings and everything that you that you need for your function? Keep in mind the feeling of your farm. How does it feel? Is it old? Is it new? Maybe it's a mixture of the few. Uh, this is huge with detail. Add a lot of detail pieces. Try to keep uh, open, wide open spaces to a minimum. And finally, don't forget to say, I can't do anything. Or, I don't have the barn that I need. Or, this design isn't going the way I thought it would. Just try. Just try a few things and see what works. But well, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you found it useful, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions or any comments or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below as well. If you want me to check out your farm and give you some feedback, then join my Discord link in the description down below and you can uh, send me pictures of your farm in the pictures text channel. Make sure you're in the pictures text channel. You, you can't send pictures anywhere else in my Discord, FYI, so it won't let you even if, even if you try. But uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, I'll see you all later.